Hello beautiful people of YouTube, it's Geo from Geo Long Place. Today is a crazy day because it's Gamescom Day and Little Nightmares 3's trailer just released. I haven't watched it yet, today I had the craziest day ever. It's the end of the day for me, the trailer has been released for like a couple hours already and I'm gonna watch it with you and I'm gonna react to it, see what's going on, see if we can pick up something or two. So without further ado, sit back, relax, it's a short one, a little bit underwhelming if I might add but let's watch it for the first time ever shall we let's go little nightmares 3 friendship trailer hmm Peggy 16 okay as shown on screen all right mm hmm Nice. Very cool trailer. Very, very, very cool. There's some information here that confirm a thing or two that we have already said in the previous reaction. One of those being the mirror. The mirror will act as a portal. So it's basically the TVs of Little Nightmares 2, right? Which also acted as a portal. In Little Nightmares 2, if you don't know, you could go from one area to another by going through a TV. And I'm curious to know if there will be like an in-between kind of scene when they go through the mirror here together it doesn't seem like it at least this trailer doesn't show but i remember clearly that in little nightmares 2 there was a hallway that you would go through i'm doing this i chose to come here this time oh i'm going in willingly now let's see what else we can pick up from this trailer. Okay, maybe the mirror breaking means that you can only do it once. You cannot go back. I do remember going back through TVs in Little Nightmares 2 as well. I don't remember if they break though. I'm gonna have to check it. Supermassive Games, this is new. They were the ones responsible for Until Dawn and those kinds of games. Very narrative driven games. I'm curious to know what they are going to do with Little Nightmares story wise. How are they going to tell the story? I think they're going to maintain the characteristic of Little Nightmares, which is like voiceless characters, and you should understand the lore just by playing the game, seeing the sceneries, and that's pretty much it. That's all the lore that you will get. You have to piece it together and I quite like it. Let's see if they will actually maintain this. From the trailers that we've gotten so far, it seems like they will. Now this is very interesting because this rat here, I don't know why, it reminded me, it could be just random, but it reminded me that you in Little Nightmares 1 would eat rats because six would get hungry. I don't know if this is a direct reference to that or if it's just some random event just to scare the kids. Yummy. Now this here, I don't understand what that is. 
Is this a person? It looks kind of weird, to be honest. Mm, nice scenery. Very grayish looking, almost black and white looking. We had not seen anything like this before. Or maybe it's just like a sandstorm kind of situation happening in the desert that we have seen before. Yeah, maybe it is because the constructions here resemble the desert, right? Hmm. Oh, definitely. Definitely because we can see the baby over there. Like right here. They're escaping the baby. Look. Oh, this is actually a pretty cool shot. If you don't go back and rewatch, you will miss these details. Because look at this shot. Look at this. Oh, that was super cool, wasn't it? Now, what was he throwing here? Hmm. It seems like it's just cool. And who is this guy? I know it's a gnome. But I wonder who he is or if he is actually relevant to the story. Is this a hand? This resembles a hand. This is a cool... It seems like a cool platforming section. I, I dig it. Now this we have seen before. We have seen gameplays of this before. And yeah, that thing that we saw back there, it was definitely a person. But we have seen gameplays of this before. We have seen this hole on the wall on the wall here. We have seen this this beetle before. We have seen the eggs. Very gross. Nothing new here. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. This reminds me of one of the scariest scenes in Little Nightmares 2. I'll have that on, on screen right now for you to watch. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life. I wonder if this was going to be like a similar section, but these hands look real big. <laughs> oh, it's kind of scary. And they're not aware that the hands are there. Or maybe they are and they're just ignoring it because it's something that you have to do. Hmm. Interesting. Now, are these the guests? Are these the guests? I don't know who they are. It seems like they're the guests. We, ha we have seen this before in the gameplay review. We have seen this section. Nice transition though, nice transition. And here they seem to fall. Oh, okay. Mm, I, wonder if, I wonder if these black things here are the eggs of the beetles. But this is definitely like a candy factory kind of th stuff. Oh, the baby. Oh my God, did he get him? Did, did the baby get? Oh my God, in this moment here, the baby almost got alone. I had not noticed that before. Oh my gosh, that was scary. Poor kid. Oh, this reminds me of the teacher. <laughs> this reminds me of the teacher. This section right here reminds me of the teacher. Again, a broken mirror, it makes me believe that you cannot traverse back, you cannot use them back. This here reminds me of the janitor. I don't know why, the, the, but these boots were everywhere in Little Nightmares 1. Very cool. Now I wonder if I'm missing something here. This waking up abruptly. And this open suitcase right here, it kind of reminds me of the beginning of Little Nightmares 1, where Six wakes up 
like this and there's a suitcase where she is and that's the beginning of the game friendship trailer and that is pretty much it guys let me know in the comment section down below what your opinions of the trailer are if you expected more or not and what are some things that you have seen here that i haven't what are some references that you have picked up on that i haven't and i gotta be honest here i expected a little bit more out of this trailer just like the second interview with the producer this was pretty much more of the same that we have already seen before i get that they are keeping the fun stuff for us to figure out when the game comes out i get that and it's totally okay it's totally fine i am anxious to play the game we got a few glimpses of interesting platforming sections that that are gonna happen here of chase scenes that are gonna happen here and i'm honestly pretty excited about that but i gotta say that this was a little bit underwhelming it's it was a super 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 short trailer i don't know if the other trailers shown on gamescon were this short but i honestly expected more it's more a problem of my expectations than a problem of the trailer itself the trailer was incredible incredibly well done the music was on point the animations were fantastic i really dig it and i want to know your opinion in the comment section down below thank you so much for watching do not forget to subscribe and again do not leave without leaving a like i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye